I feel like as a sculptor, I'm a director of a massive play that's frozen in bronze. And it's wonderful to think of, of so much of the Bible being poured into the sculpture. to have the scenes like the prodigal son that will be revealed within the sculpture, to have the Good Samaritan work within it. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm taking the Bible and presenting it in a way that has never been done before. The idea of having these doorways, these passageways, these massive 12 foot by 10 foot windows that, that, that open up into this, into this world. I think will give people that spiritual experience that they are so hungry for. I do believe that the artwork today needs to be tough, it needs to be strong, and it needs to be big. In our world of cancel culture, we're statues are being destroyed. I believe that we can fight this by creating more sculpture. you have to have faith. You have to have faith in the art for the art to actually, in a sense, create itself, where I become just an instrument. And it's fascinating how each of the stations will complement one another. You will see figures, not only the Jesus, not only the Mary, appear in several of these massive sculptures. The story is then told in a very consistent way. I do believe that if the sculpture is done as beautiful and as intense as I want, it will bring so many people to the message. And that's the burden that I have sculpting it. And that's what keeps me nonstop working on this piece and giving it my everything because I do have hope and I do have faith that artwork has that power.